Uh, okay, well, let's push on then to our New South Wales feature race of the week, and it is, of course, the Group 1 Coolmore Classic at Rose Hill, worth $600,000 in prize money. We're taking a look here at Typhoon Tracy, who won the event back in 2009 for Peter Moody. Jockey Glenn Boss did the steering, and the race included such names as Culminate, Gallant Tess, Pravana, Chinchilla Rose... An yeah, absolute we're winding thing. back the clock here, aren't we? Wasn't she a beauty, though? Typhoon Tracy. Uh, talk about a, a line chaser. She was exactly that. Look at that. When the race is there to be won or lost, you want to be in the corner of Typhoon Tracy. Big win. Notable previous winners, of course, Sunline, Dixie Blossoms more recently, Crone, Lighthouse. The list goes on. Mm. The, good, the good girls. And there'll be another one to add to that list on Saturday. Another yep, good field. There will be. So Greg Pritchard was out yesterday, out and about, and he had a chat to Tim Clark, the writer of The Inform Mayor, Hope in Your Heart. Tim Clark, you're on Hope in Your Heart in the Coolmore. You know the horse well. You won the guy Walter on her, and that wasn't your first win on her. Yeah, no, that was a really good first up win from her. Um, she's a really honest mare. She's, you know, very talented, really tough mare, and, you know, yeah, she was really impressive there first up. So if she can build on, the, on that, she's going to be hard to beat. That winning association goes back to the spring at Newcastle. What have you seen in terms of development with this horse? Oh, look, she's, she's um, just a bit more mature, I guess, and she's just improving all the time. So, yeah, she's got a, yeah, she's going to race in the second half of the field somewhere. And, um, yeah, she was really good in the Golden Eagle over the same, same track and distance. So if she runs up to that, she, that, that'll be well and truly good enough to put her right in the finish. Good push there from Timmy Clark as well for hope in your heart. Yes. All right, well, let's have a look at the market then and see where she sits in it for Saturday's Group 1 Coolmore Classic. We've got Anna Visto, the Victorian mare, coming up, but a wide open, wide open market here. As you so often see, Group 1 mares, handicap, typically do your best. But if you find the winner, you're handsomely rewarded. Mm. Where have you seen them? Oh, well, I'm hoping that I've found a winner because I'm due for a winner. I've gone with She's a Belter. I added her to the black book, so I'm going to keep following her. And I've gone 50 each way there with She's a Belter off that recent run, which I thought read better than it should have. Yep, fair enough. She went back and she's a dead set dry tracker. So we've got mine here, Hope in Your Heart. I'm with the ah. Tim Clark team there, Kerry Parker. Uh, we're getting $7.50 at the time of record. Uh, she was a good winner in the Guy Walter there first up. That's been a good form reference for this race. And I don't think the weight will scare her. And just a cheeky little $25 on Yearney because mm. she's got no weight on her back. She was good in that same race and she's going to be one that's smoking the pipe and finishing hard. I like it. Now we've got to look at Ben's as well because in between chicken nuggets, I think he's done his form and he's with Yearning. There you go. So there we've all found a, something a little bit different. Obviously yeah. Yearning there, but Torgine as mm. well, $50 for the, for the Melbourne Raider. It's, fun. it's more fun when we all land on different horses because we can all just cheer them home separately.